Hey guys, this is a list of all the changes that was made to the game in season two. And what I want to do in this video is give you guys a really rundown list of like what's important, what's not important. What should you be focusing on? What should you not be focusing on? Let's start off with what's removed, right? So Spider-Man was removed, Peppers and Chuck Flashers. So any form of fast running is removed. And we'll talk about why this is. It's actually pretty obvious. MK7 is gone. Heavy shotgun's gone. Cool. We can remove this entirely and talk about the next thing. Okay. What's been added? So the AUG is really cool. It is a really nice scoped AR that lets you sort of tag people from a distance. It's actually pretty good for Surge. Um, you could choose between this or the AK in really, very stacked Surge games. But what I would recommend is figure out what you prefer. Because I actually don't think there's a right answer here. Some people prefer the AK because it hits harder per shot, saves you more ammo. And in general, just like really nice for first shot accuracy. The AUG is nice for like some sort of like max zoom, lets you sort of zoom in on your target and lets you get surged that way. And maybe if they're like really long distance, it's easier that way. Cool. Thermal AR, I don't think it's that good. I don't think you should pick this up. I, I don't even think it's worth it even for surge. Don't complicate it, guys. Like don't hold this just to get tags because your AR actually has to be sort of, it needs to be flexible. And when I say flexible, I just mean that it needs to sort of be a spray weapon as well. So like you should be able to shoot someone and then switch to your SMG or something like that, right? So it's very important to sort of have a spray weapon or a secondary weapon after you pump someone. Otherwise, you know, it's just really tough. So thermal AR doesn't do that. So screw this. Dump shotgun, off spawn gun, doesn't matter. Revolver, doesn't matter. Okay, now we're getting into the interesting stuff. These are the things that like potentially could matter in scrims. Tanks I actually don't think that are like that good. I don't think there's like crazy strategies with tanks, honestly. Um, most people sort of think like tanks are OP. Oh my God, they're so crazy. They're actually pretty easy to break in a scrim setting. First of all, you hear them from far away. So if you're someone who's like trying to run away from a tank, if you can tell from a distance that they're coming, you can just leave. Um, and if they somehow get into third circle, everyone's gonna serve spray them. It's very common that like they're just gonna get sprayed and die. So not that relevant. Honestly, everyone's gonna be scared of this at the beginning of the season. Don't think it's that relevant. Tax sprint, very relevant. Very, very relevant. It's really important that you sort of take tax sprint into account because I feel like tax sprint is the new pepper. That's exactly why peppers and chuck flashes were removed. So cool. We take that out. Uh, we add in tax sprint. Tax sprint is really, really cool because it actually allows you to build regardless of you tax sprinting. It just cancels your tax sprint. Okay. So definitely use them in rotates. It's very, very strong. What you can do is use this to catch up to your duo who's tunneling. Right, and that's something that a lot of people don't immediately realize the application of. So now there's no excuse for you to actually be split from your duo. I really feel like this is something that you can't mess this up, right? You and your duo should be hip to shoulder very, very often now, and there's no reason not to. Um, also, following tarps, it's really, really useful to tax sprint in there. Um, any sort of you know time that you can sort of move forward when you have cover, uh, it's really nice to tax sprint. Uh, maybe you're like reusing some enemy builds on a rotate. Maybe you're sort of trying to run past a bunch of trees stuff like that is very useful just understand you can build like instantaneously like it's not a risk at all as long as you're ready to build just realize that you can't pull out your gun instantly especially when you jump okay so when you sort of tax print and jump the gun delay is huge so watch out for that don't jump onto someone it's actually kind of bait okay fine bring uh, in my opinion, in the in this sort of community, it, it is very overrated. So definitely sort of try not to focus too much on clambering. I don't believe it's that useful. Try to focus instead on the strategies revolving tax sprint and cow crashers. That's the next thing I want to sort of talk about is cow crashers. Cow crashers are very useful. I actually think they sort of are very, very good. Like a must hold if they stay in the game. Because what you can do, I'm sure you've seen this around YouTube or Twitter or whatnot. What you can do with the cow crashers is actually throw them at an enemy wall and it breaks the wall and the cone inside the box and they can't build either. So their only option is to leave. So what you can do in duos actually is throw this three boxes away, catch someone off guard, like maybe a base nearby and double spray them as soon as the cow crasher lands, which sort of takes, the, it's like a pre-edit essentially, right? But it's like a long range pre-edit, which is why I think it's totally OP, should be removed from the game. But if it's not removed from the game, some sort of things that you could do to counteract this is to sit in your top cone if you know that potentially this could be happening to you and you have your search solved already and you have nothing else to do, just go sit in your cone. It's pretty risk free. And if you know someone cow crashes you and you need to make a new box, you can just edit your cone instead of dropping down into the box that's compromised. Cool. Now, another thing you could do in solos is actually hold this over harpoon. So if you think about it, harpoon, why, why is harpoon good, right? It extends your range of impact and also just gives you a way to refresh your mats. Cool. It's a nice tool that way, right? However, cow crashers actually just does the job better. Right? It gives you a full impact potentially if you can sort of box up near people and use this as a strategy in end game, in moving zones, very much where it's going to have the most surprise and most sort of significance where you can use it to great effect. Definitely pick up cow crashers. They're very, very good. Get used to them.
So Repair Torch actually has a bunch of uses in Endgame for duos. Um, a lot of people didn't actually notice this, but Arkham and Epic Will used to always take their Lambo with tires all the way into half-half zone. Once they get into half-half zone, they ditch the Lambo. Cool. But in this specific case, you can actually do that more reliably and get to moving zones without using a lot of your mats because that's what cards are used for. They're ways to sort of rotate without using a ton of mats. So that's something that's really, really nice. Definitely get used to that. I think it's really, really useful to have, you know, one person on you do a hold this, one person on you do a hold this because you'll notice you don't have to hold Spider-Man anymore. So that frees up an, another slot, right? So you want to hold this or this or a harpoon. Those are the three utility items and you want to hold double heal, double gun. Cool. So what gun should you be holding? If you don't need surge, you should absolutely be holding like double S G double pump if you have the ammo for it if you don't have ammo some uh, one way to sort of save ammo is to hold ar smg pump pump that's a really good loadout with double heal double heal double utility you know harpoon out crashers or repair torch depending on the game right but those are the sort of things that i immediately see in the meta so if you're playing scrim definitely sort of follow along with this i definitely feel like you're going to succeed if you follow along with that cool now what we're going to talk about is the fundamentals of the game because i feel like everyone's just gonna be so distracted i'm like what gun should i hold what's ideal loadout what's ideal draw spot what i like they're so focused on the niches of the game that they're missing out on the low hanging fruit of improvement which is, has always been right the fundamentals of the game so let's talk about it right it's like it's not fair for me to say focus on the fundamentals of the game if i don't actually list it out so let's list it out cool fundamentals okay what are the fundamentals of fortnite that actually separate you from sister savage like what is the main things here that i feel like you should be focusing on i feel like the fundamentals of the game are pretty boiled down to these obviously i'll miss some but these are like the main ones that i can think of off the top of my head first one is edit accuracy second one is actually edit speed it does matter right aim building use control peaks hp vantage concept understanding like i, I would feel like hp vantage concept play like the usual stuff that i talk about is always fundamental really important to understand uh movement grim game sense and when i say scrim game sense i'm just referring to like the sort of specific things that you do in a scrim setting or a tournament setting that actually helps you succeed in terms of the game sense okay um what could that be rotates right and game awareness is one thing positioning uh like that can help you with surge maybe right like surge awareness of duo like there's a whole bunch of things like obviously i could be i should go on and on but do you see how many of these things that we could have practiced in preseason has nothing to do with the sort of meta here all you need to do is understand what the fundamentals are and then understand what the mobility is in the game and then just focus on that don't get distracted by the oh my god what are this top 10 clambering techniques in this new season like <laughs> trust me it's not gonna matter a lot of it seems practical right now it really isn't that practical there's gonna be like one or two things that like are cool and useful but ultimately what's gonna be practical is like tax sprint out crashers and like that's it don't worry about all the other stuff let the pros figure it out just go watch a vod in two weeks and they'll figure out what's important what's not important just copy that for now we should be doing is sort of getting used to the new map and getting used to the fundamentals of the game that's always been the same and it's going to sort of carry on for the next season and the season after that just get used to those practice that do not get distracted by all these new things that sort of show up to the season every game and sort of pull us away from what we should be practicing which is actually going to help us in the tournament right the, the top 10 clambering techniques are actually not going to help us at all and all these sort of niche tips and tricks that's being offered in a bunch of youtube videos they're not that useful they're kind of cool to listen to for knowledge because i feel like a lot of you guys are being pulled away right mobility what is it launch pads and tax man you see how simple it is right so if you really want to understand like what is the meta here what's going to be important right so let's let's talk about what's important in this way right what's important it's going to be map conservation purely map conservation because we don't have spider-man anymore so it's actually more important that map conservation is taken seriously right understand that another thing is reusing tarps in duos cool another thing is actually in, in solos too because now that spider-man's gone there's going to be more scuffed tarps available to us you can use that so th that is a form of map conservation so we'll put that as a sub bullet point another thing that's actually important is we need to be solely focused on two seasons ago right because two seasons ago if you really think about it, it was the same meta as this season two seasons ago had peppers launch pads harpoon three main items right obviously there's been additional things like the cow crashers but what's going to be really important for us to understand is like if we just watch vods of solos of duos two seasons ago we have the exact same mobility meta that's been happening right now right 
Pack Sprint replaces Peppers, Launch Pads are still in the game, and Harpoon is still in the game. Like, Cow Crashers will work the same thing as Crash Pads, so just think of it as like another way to get an impact. But other than that, don't worry about anything else. Just be focused on VOD reviewing two seasons ago. And obviously, if you can't find VODs, or maybe you're just too lazy to VOD review, I'll do it on my channel for you guys. Just stay tuned, and I'll do the VOD reviews for you. Um, just be super focused on two seasons ago, because it's the exact same meta as that. Also, number one thing, you need to be scrimming a lot. Why? Because Spider-Man actually was a crutch to a lot of us because it sort of gave us a way to rotate without actually having to learn how to rotate. So now we're going to have to learn how to rotate, right? It's going to be really important for us to rotate really, really well. So the best way to practice that is most of it is intuition. So it's really important that you understand how to rotate. And the best way to do that is to just spam a ton of scrims. Really get good at scrims because that's going to be the most important thing this season because we don't have that crutch of the Spider-Man anymore. We don't have peppers. We don't have things that, that can sort of help us on the rotate. We need to get really, really good at rotate. And I recommend playing a ton of scrims to actually solve that issue. Cool. This is just an introductory video, guys. I'm going to be doing a ton of VOD reviews and ton of videos. Really, really focus on the new season. But more importantly, focus on what you should be focusing on right because i don't want you to get distracted with like top five techniques to like really use the attack sprint really well like it's the attack sprint <laughs> like that's all that matters right so really just be focused on the important stuff which is what's the mobility meta what are the fundamentals of the game cow crashers and tax sprint is like the most important thing everything else doesn't really matter right doesn't matter don't waste too much time obviously understand what they are and what they can sort of bring to you in terms of value but other than that just ignore them Focus on the fundamental. This is the most important thing that's separating you from being a pro today. So the faster you get focused and laser focused on these things, the faster you'll become a pro. Don't get distracted, guys. That's my number one lesson in this video. And I really recommend you guys take it seriously because it'll absolutely bring you guys a lot of benefit if you take it seriously. Right? And I feel like a lot of you guys will be distracted by a bunch of these things. Cool. It's nice. It's it's like, a, it's like fun. But ultimately, what's separating you from a pro is the fundamentals of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A ton of new VOD reviews that are going to be coming out very, very soon on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.